So this is Brian and I'm out here in Costa Rica. This is my second video out here in Costa Rica. I'm getting ready to leave today. And you can see the beauty of that beach out there. Um, I'm actually in here with all these palm trees and uh, gotta watch out, make sure a coconut doesn't fall on my head or, or anything like that. But it's been absolutely amazing being here and I'm having a blast. And what I wanna talk with you about today is community. And I came here for community and I wanna talk with you about the power of community and then I wanna talk with you about the power of building community to become uh, powerfully confident, to become super social, uh, to get the woman of your dreams and the type of women you like. I mean, if you're spending all your time just approaching random women on the street and in bars and clubs, this could be another thing that amplifies all of that, makes you not only better in bars and clubs, but will actually make it easier to find the woman of your dreams because that community is so powerful for doing that. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. But before I do, if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to share what I'm doing, starting to do right now to really develop more community for me and uh, how it's helping me in many ways beyond just uh, meeting women and having fun. It's actually doing a lot for my health and I wanna talk about that too. So let's dive in. So community. I came out here literally for community. I came out here because Paul Saladino, if you know who he is, the carnivore MD, you can check out his Instagram if it's back up. It was down at the time of coming out here, but you can also look up uh, Heart and Soil Supplements, which is another Instagram they have. And uh, Paul Saladino is a, was a big carnivore, and then he started creating something called the Animal Based Diet. And I was a big carnivore, a lot of you know that. And I loved, I was carnivore for two years, and now I'm pretty much animal based, which is carnivore with some fruits and uh, maybe a little bit of honey here and there and stuff like that. And I love the diet, I love the lifestyle. And what Paul wants to do is he wants to create a whole community around this. There's already communities building all over the place, but there's, but we're small groups, right? And the whole idea here is to build a like-minded tribe that loves to hang out together, loves to have adventures together. So there were a hundred people, hundred of us here this weekend, and we had a blast. We had an amazing time together. We were dancing, we were jumping off waterfalls, we were uh, surfing together, we were <laughs> eating and doing pull-up competitions, and and uh, eating internal organs together. And when you get with that like-minded tribe that thinks like you, that's into fitness like you, that's into hormonal health like we are, uh, it really boosts your self-esteem and boosts who you're being. Because in the tribe, as a guy, I get to meet women who are also like-minded in this way too. They eat the same way and that's so important in our community. So community can be huge. And I wanna ask you, what is your community? What, what do you love to do? What, what are the types of people that love to be in your community? I love fit women that love to take care of themselves. I love being out in nature. I love being athletic. I love snowboarding. I love skiing. Now I love surfing. I love adventure. I love going to these exotic resorts. I like being in resort towns and, and beautiful places that are closer to nature as much as I can. And so when I get around people that love that same kind of stuff, how easy is it to start conversations with them? How easy is it to strike up uh, if the rest of the world hates eating liver and we both love eating raw liver and, we're, and it's a little controversial, we can have fun with that, right? And so that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm talking about this community that he's building here. So I'm thinking about moving here part time as he is building this, this meat based, uh, animal based community here in Costa Rica and spending time with those people because I really love them. But I'm also, and this is the magic that happened, thinking about building the same type of community. I actually am moving in that direction of building that community in Bozeman, Montana, where my home is. And uh, it turned out that I came here on a whim, had no idea, and met two more animal-based people from Bozeman, Montana here. One of them, Tia, uh, sweetheart, she, uh, she lives a mile away from me. And the other one, Tyler, and he lives a few miles away from me. Tyler loves hunting. So we're gonna go out and start taking carnivores out hunting. And I'm gonna actually learn to hunt from him. Tia loves skiing and extreme skiing. Way, she's way better than I am from talking to her. She's a trainer in this area. So I'm gonna be going out and upping my skiing level with her. And uh, as she goes out and teaches me, she was talking about jumping off rocks and doing these deep, steep faces. And I'm like, let's do it. Let's go have some fun. Just teach me to do it and, I'll, and I'll take, take it to that level. Uh, I've done a lot of backcountry and powder stuff, but I've never, I haven't done the stuff she's doing. So. This is just awesome and exciting for me. And what I want to do is start inviting more animal-based, carnivore-based people into this community in Bozeman and start having adventures like we're having here in Costa Rica. We can be doing bridge jumps into the water. We can be do doing hunting together and then cutting up the animals together. These are, this is the type of stuff we can get into. What do you love to do? What, do you, what excites you and really helps to turn you on? And what, what could you build a community around? 
Because if you start to get around like-minded people and start to become the ringleader in a sense, the coordinator of this, and you start to introduce this person to this person and you hold events, think of how much social skills training you're gonna get. Maybe you love Latin dance, it's really sexy, right? And you get all these Latin dancers together to do salsa and bachata and you start coordinating events. You don't even have to be good at it. You can go out and start learning how to do it and then just start hosting events and get the good people to come down and start developing your ability. In the beginning, just start going to them like I'm doing right now and start getting to know people, building friendships, applying all the principles we teach here, but applying them at these social settings where you have commonalities, where, you, where it gives you a step up in your ability to communicate or to build connections and communicate and build tribes. And what happens is as you get more experience in this area and you get better at listening and communicating and, this, and using these skills we're teaching about, being present with people, being grounded, pulling them out, getting them to share their life story with you. And that's what I want you to do when you go to these events. Then you can apply that on the street in a direct stop. You see a girl, you're at the mall and she's standing right there and you're like, I gotta stop her. And I've got all this experience from practicing with, the, with all these other people. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. And you start to relax because that, that, that experience is under your belt. See, I always say that if you're not good with socializing in general and you and you need to practice you need to find ways to practice you need to get out and socialize a lot because if you're going to go up and approach this beautiful woman that you want to take out on a date that you potentially want to have sex with and it's scary but you get really bad at even just saying hi to somebody you're really bad at just starting a small conversation and flowing with somebody well then that's a problem so i'm going to invite you into this idea that this is a great way to practice we also have the stops on the streets and the highs and all that stuff those are also great ways to practice, but this, to me, is another way to practice. And also practices your ability to lead, contain, to work the room. Watch my video on working the room, by the way. And really learn these principles. And as you learn to work the room, you can use the same principles at, let's say, a salsa gathering. Or maybe you're into photography and you want to learn to become a really good photographer and start photographing women. That's a, another great way to practice socializing, talking have events, uh, photography events, where you, where you bring in different women to be photographed with different photographers to practice photographing. But in the beginning, attend those events. Learn how it's done, get to know people. And again, this is another way to move forward. I also used to hold house parties, themed house parties, something simple. As I get to know more and more people from going to these events, for example, here at the Annabelle's Gathering in Santa Teresa, I could easily now just I hold a house party at my place and invite a bunch of them down. They would come right down because we all have something in common and we could all bring something to the party. So there's so much that goes to this and a lot of you guys just want the woman. A lot of you guys really want the woman. And as you let all those women go, and I did a video on that recently, letting all women go, you'll start to realize that as you truly build a life doing what you love for you, not for the woman, you're going to have so much of an easier time inviting women in. And you're gonna meet women in those communities that are like-minded. Pick a community, of course, where there's women. Don't just pick something where there's no women in it, but at the same time, uh, and then start using that time. Give yourself time to develop your ability to communicate, flow, converse, talk to those people. Now, before I continue on, I wanna invite you to like, subscribe, share, and comment in the video. The shares and the likes really help us to boost us in the algorithm to get us to that 100,000 mark. The comments, uh, I'm constantly looking at them to help come up with more videos for you guys. If you put in the comments stuff that you wanna see in the future, I'm looking at that too, um, to get better ideas. And we really wanna break that 100,000 mark. We wanna get there as fast as possible. So help us bump the AI up a little bit or the algorithm, however it works these days. I keep hearing it's now an AI. So with that said, um, now, again, I want to go back to this idea. I said I was going to share. I kind of already shared this in the beginning. But when I get back to Bozeman, I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to start building my community. When I get back to Bozeman, I'm going to start building my community. I'm going to start, I'm going to start hosting events for, we've already got three of us, for animal-based people. We'll all bring food. We'll have barbecues. We'll bring fruit. We'll bring honey. We'll, bring, we'll build the lifestyle. And we'll, I'll invite my neighbors. I'll invite other people. See. The, the thing about this diet is people don't have to be animal based to come and enjoy a barbecue with us, to come and enjoy an event with us. But if we got three of us all, and let's say we just start with one person each. On a given night, we have six people. How long until that turns into 10 people, 15 people, 20 people? The next thing you know, we're saying, hey, let's go 
take a weekend and we're going to go bridge jumping this weekend. We're going to jump off bridges and then have a barbecue together. We're going to go, let's get a group together and go hunting together and then have a barbecue. And not only does that satisfy that part of me that wants to live this lifestyle, there's plenty of women into this too. So I end up meeting the type of women that think like I want, that are athletic, that are go-getters and that really want to be with men that are into this same community. So it gives me a lot to relate to in that way. And the same thing would happen with you if you look at the things you're most interested in, the things that excite you the most, you'll figure that out. So these are the things that I'm going to do as soon as I get home. And then the next piece would be moving here and building more community here, helping build the community out here and bringing more of this possibly to my Instagram channel as I invite more people into this lifestyle. You see, what I'm doing is literally creating value in the world. I want you to think about this law of attraction principle. I'm creating value in the world. What I'm literally doing is creating value in the world through events, through dinners, through social gatherings, through the meetup pages on Facebook that we're gonna create, the, the private Facebook groups, and then inviting people into that. And as I create value, people start to want to know who I am more. If you look at somebody like Paul Saladino, who I wanted to go meet, and I'll post a picture of us in here, um, he created tons of value through his book, through his podcast, through his Instagram, through traveling the world, and now he's creating community. And so it's so easy for him to get 100 people here to help create community around this because he's created so much value. People already trust him. They want to come out. They want to be part of it. At Fearless, why, why when we hold a family gathering, like for clients that have taken a workshop or a seminar, we might fill the room with 100 people easy. And they all want to come out and have a blast and hang out. And they all want to go out and meet women at night together. And that bonding and that community, these men getting together in a like-minded tribe, fuels them and builds their self-esteem. They say that's an essential piece to the growth is getting around like-minded people. And we, I can do that because I've created so much value and given so much value. I've got, I've got over 600 videos on my YouTube channel and we've done t endless workshops for over 10 years. This allows a certain level of leeway and trust. So if you're ready to really change your social skills level, I invite you to A, start attending events, events that have people that have stuff that you're interested in learning about, being part of. I encourage you to start traveling to those events. Like I'm out in Costa Rica. There's a, there's a few other places I want to go. I've got a whole crew of people I want to go hang out with in Istanbul to do certain things that I love to do. And I was looking at um, Colombia too. I'm go out there because I really want to get into the salsa and the Latin dances and the bachata. And I want to, and I'm going to spend a month in Colombia. I want to be really dive deep into that community and, and just go attend their events and socialize and meet and joke and flirt with everybody, the guys, the girls. What I mean by that is bullshit with the guys, give each other shit, tease each other, practice doing that, flirt with the girls. And then what'll happen is just like in that video I talked about, letting all women go, women will naturally start to notice me because I'm becoming that guy that is being attractive rather than trying to approach. And when you start to feel your self-esteem build and your confidence build from being, from creating that kind of energy, when you do see a girl walking by down the beach, on the street, and you walk up and say, hey, I just had to stop you. You won't have this sense that you need her validation to feel good. And she's gonna feel that different. She's gonna feel the, that you're being attractive and that you're giving a compliment freely rather than trying to get from her. And this is why building a life is so important and this is one of the ways you can do it. So start to attend events and then eventually with time, as you start to understand them more, start assisting, helping out, and then you can start to hold events if you really wanna get into it. And you can even hold events and parties at your house and, and just figure out what you love and move in that direction. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you got a lot of value out of it. And if you haven't yet watched my previous video, it's, it's getting a lot of views because I think it applies so well, letting all women go. Definitely check that out. And then um, also make sure to check out my recent video I did on working the room. So when you go to these events, let's say you go to a salsa event or a photography event, you're learning about shooting cameras, you can start working the room. And if your event has a lot more guys in the beginning, let's say you start to take a photography class and there's a lot of guys in there for some reason, and you haven't started meeting the women yet. Trust me, there's a lot of women in photography, especially the models, but uh, still work the room. Because those guys could each know two or three models. They could introduce you to people. They could set you up with phone numbers. They could, they might be holding an event they want to invite you to where all of you take pictures of a certain set of models or you go out and do some specific photography stuff. They also start bullshitting with you, teasing with you if they're really masculine guys and then you grow from that. 
Another good example might be uh, uh, you get into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and you start learning Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You start going to all the events, you start assisting and helping out. And trust me, there are some attractive women in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. There's women loving getting into kickboxing, Jiu Jitsu, all that kind of stuff. So getting back to the end, make sure to learn to work the room. Check out my video on working the room. And if you haven't, make sure to like the video because it helps us to grow the channel. Make sure to share. That also helps us to grow the channel. Make sure to comment. Those comments are really important. All this stuff gets the algorithm going, the AI going. And I think that's it. And remember, only the confident really live. And what would you do if you were fearless? I'll see you in the next video. Take care.